for Media Group. Today we have with us Sonia Kapoor and Amrita Mendonza representing M5 Entertainment. Sonia is a founder of M5 Entertainment and Amrita is a director at M5 Entertainment. I welcome you on behalf of Exchange for Media Group and it's a pleasure to have you both. Today we'll be discussing about agencies' growth plans, marketing strategies, relationship with brands and celebrities and much more. Let's get started and I would like to start uh, with you Sonia. Please tell us how agency has performed in the last couple of years and what sets you apart from other agencies in the market. Right. First of all, uh, I want to thank you, Tanya, for uh, giving us this opportunity to have a discussion with you in exchange for media. Uh, both me and Amrita are quite excited about this opportunity. Okay, so see, um, Tanya, we started uh, this brand, our agency, about five years back. Okay. And uh, we started as a very small agency, but over the five years, we've really grown by leaps and bounds. Uh, our core vertical has always been uh, celebrity endorsements. So we work with a lot of actors across and, uh, you know, and a lot of big brands, you know, you know, you know, the I'm sure you're familiar with the celebrity endorsement space, right? So we work with Bollywood actors, we work with sports celebrities, we work with musicians, influencers, you name it, and we are working across. Now, um, Starting as a very small agency, uh, the fact that we've managed to grow so big and so fast uh, merits to the fact that uh, uh, merits to the fact that how we function, you know, for uh, so, you know, for many people, Bollywood is like a maze. Uh, many people yes. don't understand yes. the celebrity space. You know, it is like kisko kan contact kare, kaise kare, how to go about it. So uh, our mantra was very simple that, uh, you know, keep it uh, very simple keep it very transparent, keep it very cost effective. Uh, what we do is that we represent the brands actually. What happens is celebrities have their own talent agencies to represent them. Okay. But there is nobody which represents the brands. Okay. So in our case, this is how we differentiate uh, ourselves. We represent the brand. Okay. And we negotiate on behalf of them with the talent. We uh, figure out what is best for them, of course, basis their marketing strategy, basis their requirements. And uh, then we suggest them the right celebrity. And then we go to the celebrity and close close these deals. Um, why celebrities work with us, even though we don't represent them, is it's simple because we are very transparent. We are very cost effective. We uh, give them what we promise. Okay. And obviously the brands that we get on board for them are the are are the brands which stick to their promise of delivery right so they know that with m5 all the actors and all the celebrities know with m5 we can't go wrong okay because they are also going to take care of us so we are like a, you could position it as like a matchmaker you know we are like a matchmaker between the two parts the brands and the agencies uh the brand and the uh the talent so uh, that's how it is and that's how we differentiate ourselves okay Great. i think it was a long winded answer <laughs> yes and uh, which celebrity and brands have recently joined you what uh, strategies does the agency follow while connecting brands with the celebrities amrita would you like to go for yes. this amrita yes. so our latest has been something actually we've been really excited about uh, Firebolt and like uh, there was Dhoni, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. So that's been like uh, the latest and that's out already in the market. A new brand and like you, I, mean, I don't know if you're all aware, but it is a brand that's actually doing really, really well in the market right now. Right. So when it comes to a fit, uh, again, it all depends on multiple um, like sections. It depends on budgets, most importantly. Also, the right fit would also be someone who actually believes in the brand and also is able to transfer that into the audience, right? Mm -hmm. Dhoni and Kiara separately, they have been, they're really, really successful separately in their own respective fields. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's essentially like I the latest. Think, uh, 
sorry jumping in here i think the another one of the very uh, good deals that we've recently done is the tata play deal mm-hmm. so tata has uh, yeah. you know tata has completely changed their branding uh, earlier so it used to be called tata sky now it's called tata play okay. and there is a rebranding exercise uh, they have done with the uh, we got them karina and saif so if you've seen their tvcs it's it's really fun they are in different characters and stuff so even that has worked very well uh for the brand because that's again something very innovative uh that has come into that space so that has been there plus you know we are constantly working so we have we are working with tapsi we are working with kyara we are working with vani uh i mean there's so many names right now i'm, I'm not even able to remember mm-hmm. siddharth malhotra uh, down south we work with samantha akini uh, and uh, we were also work in the east with uh, likes of mimi parambrata so we basically cut across uh the entire geography uh, uh, in india you know it's a, like a pan india scene so we work with everybody okay great and sonia just tell us you know apart from uh, collaborating uh, brands with the celebrities m5 also produces ott and video content so how does that help uh, agency in boosting the overall business okay see the thing is that uh, though essentially we are a celebrity endorsement uh, uh, you know company but we are also getting into the video content space we are getting into feature films we are getting into web series uh, and uh, the fact that we have this association with the actors you know it just lifts up the entire profile a because the uh, actors want to of course work with us on this various content pieces and the fact that the brands also see us that we are not limited to just actors we are working with them on different levels you know so that also we spokes of our relationship the kind of relationships that we have with them so it does lift it up and in fact we should be soon coming out with some very interesting announcements uh in in the space of web series and feature films so we are we are like right now poised to take that big leap and that helps of course uh for example uh, you know like recently we did um, siddharth malhotra and kyara advani for uh, hapilo uh, mm-hmm. so hapilo and you know they were going to get married and we were the ones who actually recommended them that you know why don't you do uh why don't you take both of them on board since they're going to come together and the content that can come out of it is amazing because it would be it would be a very natural content and they can exploit uh, both so that happened and then recently we've also done gynoveda with tapsi again that is in a very different space it's in the ayurveda space and the content that we have created with the uh, tapsi basically it's not just us we have done it in collaboration with their uh, own teams as well and it has done very well uh, again you know for them so it just helps us to have one foot there what we try to do is we try to get more partners in involved to do the job we don't do it solely you know because it's just too much otherwise and at the end of the day it's a team effort so that's that's how we work okay great now coming to the marketing plans you have your office in gurugram in mumbai so are you planning to expand yeah. the market to other cities what are your growth plans we okay. actually work across multiple partners across like sonia rightly mentioned in the in, at the start that we work across different uh, markets right so we're also very strong in the south we have excellent partners in the south who we work with so yeah so essentially we're already established <laughs> across yeah yeah See, you know what Anya it doesn't really matter how many offices you have in this particular field it's all based on relationship so we also work with brands in bangalore we work with actors in hyderabad we work with people in chennai in uh, east we work in bengal in northeast also we work so it's all about that you know yeah. and uh, our core philosophy has been always you know to uh, work with women we try to give women opportunities uh you know and we encourage a lot of women who can work from home and be part of our team so we want to give the work life balance as well to them and over the years the kind of transparency that we have built up the relationships that we have built up as an agency with both actors and brands have really held us in good stead and we plan to continue that so it's just it's not about offices basically it's it's about how you know you you're kind of having those connects because it's a very very people uh, oriented industry you know also we are living people in a digital industry. arena so now you know we have this digital space yeah yeah, yeah. 
absolutely absolutely of course for shoots and all you have to go uh mm-hmm. to bombay and uh, you know there are different Across. locations and yeah. thing and but essentially uh yeah you know it's just picking up a call you know doing a zoom in like how we are doing with you right now mm-hmm. and yeah. deals yes okay and what marketing strategies uh, you know do you follow while targeting your clients or engaging with your clients so uh what tanya is i think i i i did speak about it a little bit uh, i touched upon it as well mm-hmm. uh you know ours is 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 a very simple strategy as i was telling you it's very simple we want to kind of when we connect with a client our main agenda is to make that entire process of onboarding a celebrity as simple as possible uh so we we keep it very simple we keep it very focused based on their mark their marketing strategy when we reach out to them we tell them what's possible and what's not possible so we are very upfront uh and we we make them aware of everything that is possible in their strategy and in their budgets right from the word go so that you know there is no ambiguity and as a result they they trust us you know and uh, so uh, they would they, the relationships are when they begin they begin on this trust factor and obviously once we are on going with the deal and they see how things are panning out that trust remains uh, intact and uh, the other marketing strategy is tanya that word of mouth you know a mm-hmm. uh, lot of founders lot of owners recommend us uh because what we bring to the table so at the end of the day it's it's essentially a word of mouth uh, mm-hmm. kind of a strategy yes. and we are rec- we are recommended and we get a lot of incoming business just because people trust us and they say well these are the right people to take you through it so it's that amrita you would you like to add something to it to add something right like it all depends on your relationships like we've also mentioned in the past and that's something that goes from one person to the other and it mm-hmm. it's been working out for us marvelously well so yeah so that would be it okay great uh, would you like to talk about your uh, revenues uh, quarter four revenues and what are you expecting from quarter 1 Okay, so revenues. Uh, see, we are growing. I obviously I can't give you figures, mm-hmm. but what I can tell you is that uh, you know we are growing day by day. Uh, you know, uh, our targets. We have actually overreached. We've already we are in the first quarter, and we are getting into the second quarter. We've already surpassed our targets for the first quarter, and we're almost going to close our targets for the second quarter. And right now, we have not even kind of finished with June. Right, June is going to get over. Mm-hmm. So okay. that's the good thing, I guess, about celebrity business uh, in India <laughs> because there is a lot of demand. and um, you know and uh, considering now they know that we are that one stop shop where they can get everything mm-hmm. uh, we get a uh, lot of people reach out to us and in fact brands uh, who used to work with us have again come back to us as well and uh, so it's good business touch wood things are absolutely on track okay great and uh, you mentioned about hiring women almost uh, two yeah. years back uh, agency announced to hire more women in the business so like mm-hmm. could you tell us the numbers like how many women uh, have joined you in the last couple of years so uh, see we have uh, our strength of our company uh, is about uh, around about 15 to 20 people okay mm-hmm. because again it's the kind of business that we don't want to keep it very heavy in terms of overheads uh of course there is a slightly high turnover rate here as well because uh, you know if there you know women do have a lot of complications in their life so do they do join us but there are times when they can't cope up or there's something that uh, you know like for example we had somebody recently who needed a sabbatical because uh, you know her father was not well so we gave her that opportunity that you know you go ahead and sort out your life and by god's grace he was fine and she has joined back so uh yeah so our endeavor is to get as many women as possible but obviously we want to keep our numbers tight we don't want to become a very uh, overheads heavy company because mm-hmm. it's not really required you know at the end of the day uh so that's where we are right now okay and uh, any acquisition and investment plans in the upcoming years 
Uh, yes, uh, Tanya, we are planning to actually now go abroad. Okay, mm-hmm. we are planning to do. Uh, see, India, we are we have a lot uh, already in control. So you know, we want to expand our horizon, and Bollywood actors and celebrities abroad are really in demand. So we are planning to expand very slowly and steadily in uh, the Middle East market, in in Europe, and maybe America as well. Uh, but those steps are going to be very small and steady. We will see over a period of time. In terms of investments, we are now since we have just established our content vertical, so we are investing heavily in building up the library of content uh, which we are going to be creating. So we are going all out in the production side of things as well now. And the fact that we work with a lot of actors give us that opportunity to have access to them and get them the kind of content they also want to do you know nowadays a lot of guys a lot of actors they know what they want earlier there used to be very minimal opportunities but now it's uh, content is king so you know there also we have a great connect because they also let us know that okay in their career now what is their next challenge that they want to overcome you know what is it that they want to do so it's a mix and match of all synergies which are coming together and we are very hopeful that uh, we'll go far even with this vertical as well okay any other growth plans like where are you seeing your agency uh, in the you know in the coming years coming 2 3 years amrita Yeah so we're also actually looking more so on doing a lot of live events you know across like um, so you mentioned the small steps i mean we're already doing events like wedding events etc across the globe so the idea is to build a little bit more on that because i think that helps with a lot more exposure mm-hmm. you know when it comes uh, to a company that's based out of uh, bombay and, and gurgaon like you mentioned mm-hmm. right so yeah so we're looking more so like event heavy that's something that we're also looking at apart from everything that's already going on we have a lot on our plate already so mm-hmm. yeah so we're excited about that as well and we establish ourselves basically as content producers because that's the way we want to take so we are we are hoping to become a very powerful content studio sooner than later okay great anything else you would like to add uh i think tanya we've covered almost as a brand uh, what message would you like to give to other marketers uh well uh, uh, other marketers as in in terms of brands you're asking yes, uh, brands. brands or brands and agencies yeah, so, both uh brands and agencies both so basically what sorry i think there's some glitch that came No, so to the brands, the message is this: uh, Exchange for Media is an excellent uh, platform. Uh, so many brands engage with you. So we hope that this interview and our work reaches out to more brands, and uh, they know that we are doing an excellent work. So if you need a Dhoni, if you need a Shahrukh Khan, or if you need Karina Kapoor, or you need Samantha, please call us. We are right there. and um to the other agencies who are actually all of them are colleagues we we work very well with across uh, all of them you know mostly we have great relationships cuts across bollywood is a small community uh, so we just want to uh, everybody to prosper everybody to uh, you know kind of grow and make money at the end of the day and hopefully uh, somewhere we will be able to put it back into the industry not just in terms of content but hopefully very soon we will have some sort of csr activities because we also want to give it back to the industry what would they have given us so much so eventually um, we are hoping we we do that as well and yeah it should be good for everybody okay and any challenges uh, you know agency is facing presently any challenges really i mean it it actually it's not like we even have too much competition in the market right we work great with all the other agencies like sonia has mentioned in a way in which it's it's about business across right it's about doing good work at the end of the day collectively you know not like oh it's just yours or mine or whatever like that so the idea is to collaborate and to do great work together okay so no challenges as such yeah the challenges you know it's like basically it's it's a part of a process right they mm-hmm. come and they go it's not nothing that which is really our bottlenecks i would say mm-hmm. so challenges are there but they're not like bottlenecks you can tackle and you can move on so i such uh, that's not so much of a hassle i guess 
great. Now you know uh, it's a decade old brand and. Uh, obviously you have worked with uh, on many campaigns with different celebrities and brands which is your favorite campaign which is our favorite campaign oh i my favorite campaign is tata sky i love it i i love it the way they have presented both saif and kareena uh, together their chemistry is cackling and it's it's really fun to watch them together so i think recently at least it's one of my favorites I think Amrita can tell her yeah, own favorite. I, I I think my favorite would be Drools. Uh, it's yeah. a brand that we have seen grow. You know, grow great, grow in a big, big way. We started from inception to we continue. It's been multiple years. We still have a great relationship going with them, and yeah. So I think Drools would be my favorite. Yeah, and you know the and the the shoots are very a lot of fun because they're all yeah. kinds of dogs and pets which come and I you know it's, it's not work. It's like you're just surrounded by dogs and cats, and it's like the best environment ever if you love animals. That is so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to touch upon the marketing budgets of all these campaigns? Oh, like what? What uh, are your marketing budgets per campaign? So we can't really like reveal it in a way which because it's all um it's all like private information, right? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, yeah. So we can't actually, really, yeah, yeah. But but what we can give you a sort of we can give you see the 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 entire it's it's as minimum to as maximum, you know, because okay. we also work with influencers who are mm-hmm. who have fifty thousand followers or a lakh followers. so the obviously the budgets are low there and then we're all also working with uh, top celebrities and top actors and obviously the budgets are going to be higher there so there is no like standard format it differs from campaign to campaign brand to brand celebrity to celebrity so it cuts across oh, yeah. but lot so of uh, you know kind of work with us again and again only because of the fact that uh, oh uh, you know we get them great brands you know and uh, they love to work with uh, us because not only that uh, and the kind of marketing strategies that the brands get to the table that's also very interesting and innovative so they love to work with us in that sense okay and yeah, so and you, also yeah, yeah, yeah. about the fact mm-hmm. that apart from the celebrity celebrities that we work with and the sports person that are mentioned we work across multiple sections right so when it comes to even say for example a chef uh we work with musicians hmm. you know yes. as far from all the, the great influencers that we have yes. right travel influencers mm-hmm. beauty influencers etc so we have like a plethora of people that we work with so in the space of it's not only subject to like a list of celebrities whatever it's right from like like i mentioned chef to like you know a mm-hmm. bollywood a list so yeah okay so i mean it, it's it depends on how we know what audience need right to cater to the clients yes, yeah yes. fitness enthusiasts fitness mm-hmm. influencers so anyone. definitely are we going to see more influencer joining the agency in the upcoming years because influencer marketing has become more vibrant now yeah, yeah. no so our endeavor has always been to work with as many people as uh, possible and uh, influencer advertising marketing uh, as you are saying is very big but again in that we are a little bit careful we try to work with a certain kind of influencers and a certain kind what they bring to the table you know basis mm-hmm. that we polish our strategy uh because you know kehne ko to kya hota hai na ki agar ek kisi instagram wale ko agar kuch bhi followership le wo kahenge ki ab wo bolte hain hame ki aap hame bhi represent karo ab wo bahut tough hai because yes. you know we don't want to give uh, false promises to people mm-hmm. and after all any instagrammer who builds their profile uski hopes or desires us pe hoti hain so we try not to kind of um, encourage everybody we know जिनके साथ बिजनेस कन्वर्ट हो सकता है वी ट्राई टू वर्क विद देम एज वेल एंड ऑफ कोर्स वी एनकरेज द रेस्ट की अगर आप ऐसे ऐसे करोगे तो शायद आपका प्रोफाइल उस लेवल पे आ जाएगा वेद ब्रांड्स बी वांटिंग टू वर्क विद यू सो या इट इज ऑन आर एंड आई मीन इट्स देयर ऑन आर थिंग एज वेल वी वर्क विद देम ओके एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम यूजिंग इंस्टाग्राम एज अ सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म आर यू यूजिंग एनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म so usually now brands are very keen uh, for instagram uh, mm-hmm. because i because think we have the, the influencers of, sitting over there yeah ah uh, yeah yeah the kind of reach that they get a uh, some bit also they also try to use some 
some bit on facebook and twitter but essentially it's instagram because i think instagram has managed to capture this entire market where uh, this uh, kind of recommendations from these influencers do really well and give the brands a lot of recall and roi so i think it's um, instagram is one of the biggest platforms right now ab dekhte hain future mein kya hota hai you never know kal ko kya ho jayega what happens is a lot of celebrities are while they are on instagram they might not use it for as a platform to advertise you know to basically endorse products and they would maybe use like a facebook even that is a case in point yes. that does happen uh so we've also seen that happen quite a bit so yeah but then again it depends on again the celebrity and their their choice essentially ultimately so, yahi teen hi hai this twitter yeah. to some extent but twitter is more for serious kind oh, yeah. of stuff yeah and then yeah. there is feed so, and then there yeah okay i think we have covered everything <laughs> almost everything <I> <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, so uh, unless of course the roma is there on the call uh, roma if you could you, do you have anything for us left to discuss let us know but i think roma oh, oh, i'm good thank you <laughs> <laughs> if you are good i'm good yeah okay great okay. great yeah. yeah okay so hopefully we are going to see you are going to add more numbers more celebrities and brands in the upcoming years and uh, yes. thank you it was a wonderful conversation thank you roma thank you sonia thank you amrita it's pleasure thank you so thank much. you tanya thank you so much for your time thank you thank so you much thank you so much